my god, check it out. It's the Sharequisition. This is where we take a game, we break it down, and we tell you if it works, how it performs, how the graphics are, and how it controls, and we rate that on a pass-fail basis, and we give you a score at the end of that from one to four chairs. And then we also talk about how fun it is, and then we rate that arbitrarily on a scale from one to four chairs, because lawn chairs are the best scoring metric, period. This week, we're taking a look at Holy Potatoes, a spy story of... Felt by Daylight Studios, done on Unity. You can pick it up for about 15 US wet stinky capitalism dollars. And what is it? Holy potatoes, a spy story, question mark, is a wacky spy agency sim where you manage your very own potato spy headquarters, train an elite spy spud team, and strategize top secret missions while uncovering the truth behind an evil spy corporation. Uh, Dev sent us some keys for this, so let's get right into it. Ven, how did the potato run on your potatoes? Hang on, I got lights in seizure mode. I gotta fix this real quick. <laughs> oh no, he's turning into a potato! Um, that was terrifying. Uh, 1804, Ryzen, 1700, uh, ancient, old, crusty, 980, 16 gigs of RAM. It's thing. Didn't have an issue with it. I mean, it launched out of the box. Uh, it's a Unity joint, so I was like, alright, shouldn't have a problem. 1080p uh, and at UHD 2160p, Pedro will give it a mention. I mean, it's solid 60 for reasons. Graphics, look at it. Potato. Shut up, Sam. Um, not much to report about that. It looks good. It's well done. And it's all vectory looking. You, you know what I'm talking about. It has that looks mobile is what I'm saying. Uh, mm -hmm. Far as controls, you got rebindable hotkeys when you want to play around with it. And it's point and click. And click it, click, 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 and more clicks. However, there is one small, small issue that is actually a genuine issue. It doesn't capture your fucking dribble cursor. So, in something with a map that you can drag around, uh, it just keeps fucking going, Brad, when you go off screen. <laughs> so that's really fun. It's not really going to fuck you up or anything, but it's hella annoying. And I'm also going to ding it a chair for that. However, if I can get back to the correct monitor, I'll give it a you solid can do it. Three. I believe. I don't believe in me, man. I believe. All right. All right. All right. Uh, you remember uh, that you're on a show. <laughs> I, I, I was waiting for you to send it to me. All right. I'm Fedora 28, 64 bit uh, with the i7 6700K and the crusty, crusty, not so old GTX 1080 Ti that still hasn't died yet. Suck it, 2080. Um, it launches. Yeah. Um, performance. I mean, it, it's it's locked at 60 FPS, so when you, you're playing it at what this game tells me is UHD, it still runs at 60. Um, anyways, uh, graphics, look at all those potato people, men and ladies, book it, they're, they're running, especially because I cranked the speed up because I didn't want to wait for shit. And <laughs> control-wise, you click on things. Uh, sometimes it has a bit of problems figuring out what you're clicking on because of the isometric perspective, and sometimes one of your little potato spies will run across where you're clicking um just before you click on the thing you meant to click and that gets a little annoying not enough to ding in a chair i'll give it four for four dora <laughs> <laughs> and over here on solus with the ryzen uh 5 1600 and the gtx 1080 crushing it uh it's uh it launches absolutely no issues uh it also remembered my settings which is nice uh it's weird that that's a thing that i'm actually happy to see in 2018 but yeah uh the performance yeah it's locked at 60 be it at 30 and 40 by 2160 or 1080p it just stays at 60 and it, i didn't really see a reason to turn off vsync because look at it and uh the, it has graphics it has sounds uh the sound was very low at first that i realized oh they cut it in like half by default that's nice not you know um making people uh, people's eardrums bleed uh Controls, yeah, you click on things or you hit the relevant uh, keyboard shortcuts and things happen on screen, so that's good. Four chairs from uh, the Solas crowd. All right, well, there you go. If you don't like uh, your cursor getting trapped by your game, this is the thing I, for you. I live for it. I long. I wake <laughs> up in the morning hoping, hoping it actually happens. But did it didn't enhance your fun with the game? Well, yes. hey, we, we've determined that it mostly works on three different operating systems. So good on you, game. You Did that. we like it? Is it fun? <laughs> Can you end that with a question mark? Well, I launched this. And my first thought out of my brain meets was like, is this Pokemon? Kind of. <laughs> well, not really. Wait, I just got a Pokemon. This is basically how the first 30 minutes of this game went for me. 
Uh, immediately followed by, what the hell? Now it's gone SimCity. Yep, that's an element. It's in there. What I'm trying to get across is the fact that uh, the Pokey Tater City, Spy Carbs, whatever you want to call it, has a lot of elements going on at once. I mean, you hire the Taters, you train the Taters, then you send your Taters on non-interactive spy missions, then you build shit, the game, period. That That's pretty much it. I don't, I don't really think I missed anything. Maybe these two yo's will elaborate on it. It's simple enough for my dumbass to figure out how to get things done. And it has a gang of stats if you want to go full metal spreadsheet simulator on this business. If that's your thing. It's not my thing. Like Pedro is going to mention anyone, I, I think, uh, outside of like uh, Strider, uh, would be able to lose an hour just by opening this thing up and dicking around, seeing what it's about. Does a good job at that. However, I'm going to give you a pro tip. Uh, developers, you'll need to change that Domino character that is genuinely just called domino a lot of characters are like oh tony starch and you know mm -hmm. oh that falls under maruto <laughs> yeah domino got the domino thing got the domino hair, all this shit i mean this is straight up fucking domino man i'm like ooh, even though i know that's from deadpool they're still gonna come after you disney gonna sue somebody and when they're done suing that person they're gonna come after you give you a C and D, and probably sue you too because what disney does for 14.99 let's say pick it up I mean, if you like like Pokemon type games where you uh, and, uh, have a school effectively of people or a uh, stable, you train them up and you send them on missions and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's your thing. Uh, if you enjoy SimCity and you have any illusion that that's really a thing in this game, don't. Keep rolling because you just build some shit and upgrade it. That's it. There, never once did I see Mecha Barba Streisand come ripping through. Uh, also... Fourteen ninety nine. If you threw in like maybe an archer skin pack for my spy <clears throat> potatoes, I'd be really happy about that. It's not there. I like it. It's competently done. I'll give it a solid two. I'm out. Yeah, much like this farming game, it's just a lot of weighing. You got your spies. They have stats. Certain challenges require stats to pass between, or certain or that certain challenges require certain stats to pass because math and gadgets can sometimes increase or decrease your stats. Uh, honestly, I, I can sort of see where Ven's coming from with the uh, Pokemon comparison because this is kind of a um, kind of a complicated game of rock paper scissors, which is ultimately what Pokemon is. Um, but th this game is infinitely more grindy than Pokemon, and that's saying something because Pokemon is literally one hundred percent grind. But here we are. Um, so yeah, you 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 end up training your uh, your dudes. You can send them on missions or have them make items or upgrade your facilities or just. Uh, and well, that's that's basically it. And you collect money that you use to buy more buildings, to buy more gear, to increase your stats so you can go on other missions. Because some will just say like, hey, your characters are too crappy to go on this mission. Everything's on a time limit. So you have to sort of budget how long you spend doing you spent you get you let a character spend doing a given thing before you send them off. Because sometimes, oh, hey, this guy needs to rest, but he's the only one that's allowed to do the next mission. So you better hurry up. Um, I, you know, the, the, the fake celebrity athlete fictional character, character things are kind of cute. Like I had, I had Pac-Man and Super Mario and, uh, uh the, the, it wasn't Star Lord. They call him Sun Boy or whatever, <laughs> but you know, Uncle Johnny's totally the pedophile uncle you had that you've repressed. So <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, like, so some of them are cute and they got a chuckle, but the right, the writing and like the, the cinematic portions are not that great. Uh, I I don't know. Hon honestly, what I, what I felt this game does a lot of is occupy time. I sunk about two and a half hours in here, and I don't think I necessarily felt entertained while doing it. I felt occupied. I felt like I was doing something, but then I put the game down. And I'm like, man, I had a really fun experience. It's man, I killed two and a half hours. I'm gonna go make some chili. Um, <laughs> I'll give I'll give it two chairs. It's confidently enough done, but it's not anything I would necessarily describe as fun question mark well i lost three hours of my life when i started the game uh and i didn't even realize it wasn't until i looked up from the monitor it's like why is it so dark oh it's nighttime now huh okay uh and yeah i can't give it four chairs because the more you progress the grindier it becomes you need to keep those spies trained you need to worry about the money all the goddamn time and that bit that bit wasn't fun i did get a chuckle out of the dialogue every now and then but yes it's very 
it, they're trying really, really hard. Uh, they're not succeeding all the time, but they got a, a couple of decent chuckles out of me. Um, what I would like is a chance to beat some of these missions, unless I have a spy with 150 on all the stats, because that seems to be, like, the sweet spot. You get a spy up to 150 on all the stats, and all of a sudden you have super spy that can do all the missions all by themselves. And, um... You know, uh, it's basically, if you get a mission that's anywhere above medium risk, just don't bother, it's impossible. Uh, and, well, all of those complaints aside, I very much enjoyed it. If a game makes me lose track of time like this one did, and I leave the game feeling, you know, happy with the time that I spent, even though I only just then realized that I had, it had been far longer than I originally thought it had been, uh, then, yeah, it's deserving of praise. And I think it worked better on a tablet, but medium here is down to choice, you know, play that on PC, I still very much enjoyed it. So they did a good, they did a good job, and as far as I'm concerned, it gets three chairs. All right, well, that is that for Holy Potatoes, a spy story, question mark? One thing I will uh, say kind of in closing is one mm -hmm. thing we were talking about in the pre-pre-super shows and is I got, I got a distinct vibe that the DNA, the origins of this game, the zygote of it, it, it seemed like it really, even with the buttons, it, it started mm -hmm. life as a mobile game. Big buttons, yeah, big I, text. Feels yeah. like it. <laughs> I, I could definitely see maybe like this. This might be good as a mobile game because that's what you kind of want to do when you're playing on your phone is just kind of occupy time between point A and point B, and you got to put your device down and do something. Mm -hmm. As as like a sit down and play PC game, I'm I'm just not feeling it. It's hard to do. Hey, yeah, at least you don't have to worry about it capturing your mouse. <laughs> this is this is true. My mouse is free to go click on other things, mm. like the podcast <laughs> I was listening to because. I needed to, you know, have something else to listen to instead of this game. 